Do you know how mad I have to be to make a fucking Instagram reel? Like an actual, honest to God, Instagram reel about Genshin Impact, a game I haven't even played. <laughs> I haven't even played Genshin Impact because I don't have the time of my life. <laughs> And if I hear one more thing about these Sumeru designs, I'm gonna flip my entire shit. So this is just a reel to give as much as information as possible. And if people want to discuss this with me, my DMs are open. Right. Why am I making this reel? I did archaeology at university for four years. For four years to get a degree in archaeology of the classical and Near Eastern cultures. I had to take a lot of classes on those Near Eastern cultures. I did an entire semester on Turkey. You didn't think there would be enough to talk about for Turkey. I did an entire class on Syria. Fascinating. Great class. Every single time I did one of these classes, I got this beautiful wealth of knowledge, which is fantastic. And that is what I'm going to impart to you guys today about these Sumeru designs. And I am so sorry that the education system has failed people to the point where humanity and the arts and all of these other things have been defunded to the point where no one has critical thinking abilities anymore. And that is what I am trying to instill in you because I am so sorry that our government hates us and wants to remove these things from our life. First off, legitimate criticisms for Sumeru. There are like two brown people and they look like white people who've been on holiday. Massive complaint. Put brown people in your goddamn game. Just put them in. They exist. They're real. Put them in the game. Secondly, yes, using the names of like famous Arabic scientists is a dumb idea. Al Haytham and Al Tignari are real people, but also let's not pretend the entire fate fandom exists, right? Because Fate has about four iterations of Gilgamesh, the famous Mesopotamian king, and all of them are skinny white twinks. So if we're gonna start going after gacha people, let's do it properly, all right? Let's commit, okay? So yeah, there are completely legitimate things to talk about in regards to Sumeru. However, the idea of the designs being cultural appropriation to the point where people who are not part of those cultures should not cosplay them because they are not able to reclaim them is a bad take and I will explain why. First off, very... Right, so first off, um, how are the designs remotely... Co I, where Where is this coming from? Like. Okay, I looked at Tignari's design because I was like, right, okay, there's cultural appropriation, we're gonna find it and we're gonna get mad. Um, Tignari's design is like the closest thing I can think of to anything from that part of the world would be like the Scythians, right? The people of the steppes with their very flowing clothing on horseback being archers. Okay, he's an archer, maybe that's close enough. But other than that, like, I have never seen. A... Is Tignari a he? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> We're blowing some minds here today, everyone. <laughs> um, and now you're making me second guess myself. No, Tignari is a he. 100%. Hundo. Hundo percent. Um, and I just... Like, how, is that, how is that outfit related to anything? The same with Kale. Now, obviously, Kale is not originally from Sumeru, was from Sumeru, left Sumeru, whatever. Um, her design is basically based on nothing re remotely from that area of the world in regards to modern culture and it's certainly not based on anything in regard to ancient culture um sino right is obviously kuno how oh my god i hate <laughs> <laughs> um i'm just gonna call him sino right. and we're just gonna pretend that he's not called dog right right okay yeah so let's talk about that right his name is kuno right written uh kappa upsilon uh nu Omega, right? So it is. So he's like a, a Greek Egyptian, I guess. Um, and he looks like a bad Yu Gi Oh OC. Okay, there's like, the, okay, his outfit at least has some ancient Egyptian inspiration. The Anubis headdress. Okay, cool. They wore masks, not headdresses. That's fine. Um, and obviously the little the little skirt with the little sashy thing, right? Okay, that's that's all right. But um. The ancient Egyptians aren't 
you know they're not like DNA related to the people who live in Egypt right now, right? Like you guys do understand how like cultures shift and move. Um, and the Egyptians were invaded by the Greeks and then the Romans and then by like 18 different people. And the, the actual ancient Egyptians don't exist anymore like that that's not a thing this is, this is like one of the biggest debates in archaeology is like where did the ancient egyptians go right um so like if you're gonna argue that you can only cosplay a character from like your reclaimed culture like so no one no one is allowed to cosplay anyone from fake ancient egypt because they don't exist um like how how are we how are we having this discourse right um and also like Again, it's it's using concepts from an, an ancient culture, but there's there's very little appropriation actually about it, right? There, there's a difference between cultural appropriation and using designs and aesthetics from a culture. Again, agreed, there should be brown characters. They shouldn't be using these Arabic names without these brown characters. But there there is a line. Um, for instance, there there are instances where wearing a specific type of kimono is is bad, right? You're not going to walk around in a wedding kimono or a coming of age outfit, um, but you wouldn't do that for any culture. No one's wearing a quinceanera dress to go to the shops. Um, but there are fashion outfits in other cultures which are completely acceptable to wear by anyone, um, and you you need to understand that there is a line there. So looking at the other outfits, um, and, and we haven't really seen enough of, enough of Kusanali's, but like hers is clearly also not based on anything. Dea looks like an extra from Mad Max rather than rather than anything remotely related to sand. I don't know if I, sand, where is she from? Um, yeah, that's the other thing is we're making all of these judgments without the actual characters or the story in the game. Um, so like massive, massive jumping to conclusion with everything. Um, I'm trying to think who else in it. Al, Al Haytham's design has I mean, it's just it's just, just recolored Zhongli. Like, it, it's like it's like you when you play, you know, when you play Super Smash Brothers, and you and your you and your sister both want to be Kirby, and one of you's got to be the pink Kirby, and the other you's have got to be another stupid color Kirby. It's like you both wanted to be Zhongli in the game, but you can't both be Zhongli. So one of you's gonna be the weird, dark, edgy recolor of Zhongli. Like, where is? Where is the, the appropriation on his specific design? I'm really failing to see. And the other thing that I really, I, I, I had this idea and I am jumping to conclusions here because again, Sumeru is not out guys. It's just not out. Um, is that obviously you've got, you've got desert land um, and you've got some green shit going on. Um, what it looks like is they're actually using the myth of the cedar forest which is a very important part of the Epic of Gilgamesh. Famously, for those of you who don't know, the, you thought I wasn't going to bring up the Epic of Gilgamesh and just talk about Mesopotamia. <laughs> um, they, bros I don't think bros. anyone was under the illusion that you weren't going to bring up the Epic of Gilgamesh. Bros being bros, right? Gilgamesh and Enkidu, hand in hand, arm in arm, go to the Cedar Forest to cut down a big tree to make the new door for the city. Um, and the Cedar Forest is a magic place where gods live. It's it's Mount Olympus, right? Like that's the equivalent. And when I first saw the Sumeru leaks, I went, "Oh my god, that they're doing the Cedar Forest. You've got you've got the the sand area. You've got this beautiful lush um, jungle area almost. Um, and I mean, in in one of the versions of the Epic Gilgamesh, the Aramaic version, I believe, um, they even mentioned that Humbaba, the guardian of the Cedar Forest, actually is a prince who lives in a jungle." Um, so all these ideas came to me. I thought that's really unique to actually use this mythology in a way that makes sense because at the end of the day, it's fantasy, right? Mondstadt is fantasy Germany. Um, we're going to have fantasy France. We're going to have fantasy India. We've got fantasy China. We've got fantasy Japan. They're all taking concepts and aesthetics from a part of the world and merging them into this complete fantasy mesh of nonsense where they can release twink after twink and make people give them money for it um <laughs> and i just i don't understand where where the appropriation is coming in because none of these outfits are based on any outfits from a living culture um right there are certainly not like in significant outfits yeah. The the complaints about Dory are an interesting one, right? Um, because Dory looks like 
someone made a Magi OC and then was like, oh, Magi ended a couple years ago, I guess I have a design for nothing. Um, right, she's got she's got the the poofy pants, um, the, the little crop top. Um, literally, could be more Gianna's sister at this point, for all we know. Um, and I do I understand um, why that design might be seen in a stereotypical manner because it is oh we've got a fantasy Middle Eastern thing going on. Let's put a character with poofy pants in. <laughs> but again, if we're gonna if we're gonna go after Genshin, right, just. Just go after the whole lot, right? Like, actually talk about it as a cultural criticism. Talk about it as why do um, Japanese and Chinese companies and authors think that it's okay to design these characters and when they want to kind of discuss a Near Eastern aesthetic, they immediately focus on these things, like the poofy pants, like these, these crop tops. Um, talk about it as an actual cultural phenomenon, which is what it is, because fate does the same thing. Magi, as I said, has done it. Genshin is not the first and is not going to be the last. So rather than... Disney did it. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wasn't even thinking about Western media. Because um, yeah, Western media, obviously, is a whole well, different yeah. issue. Um, but we can't pretend that, you know, Mihoyo is alone in, in making these decisions. Um, and there's also, there's a storytelling element to it as well, is that you have to get across your aesthetic. And yeah. they are... They are getting across their aesthetic and there are problems with it but i don't think a character with poofy pants and a genie is the problem um there was that criticism about how the genie because dory travels on her genie it represents the idea that um uh, muslims lazy. are lazy um I'm not going to comment on that because I'm a historian and an archaeologist and I'm going to talk about all of the ancient stuff and it's not my place to make that comment. <laughs> <laughs> but that was a thing that came up. Yeah. I think the TLDR is... Um, I think the TLDR is that people are mad because they're not brown and they're trying to find more legitimate ways to be mad and using yeah. throwing around words like cultural appropriation when they're not. Yeah, definitely be mad that there aren't brown characters in a part of the world where realistic. Oh, I didn't talk about Nilu. Let me talk about Nilu and I'll do the conclusion. Mm -hmm. Nilu's design is great. Literally, a... you mean Morgiana's design is great? <laughs> Morgiana's design is great. It's um, it's it's very much evoking um ideas from Babylonian and Mesopotamian art. It's horns and curved horns are a sign of kingship and a sign of deity. Um, so having her have these horns, I mean, everyone who knows me knows I absolutely lost my shit when Castor Gilgamesh had horns. I was like, he's got horns! Because you see that there's this um, stele of Naram Shin, who's a very old Mesopotamian king, and he's got He's got a six horn. Now he's got six horns. That's like super impressive. Um, and, and you've got like images of gods portrayed with these curly horns. And giving her those horns was such a great visual. It was really, really good and really kind of meshed that idea of the cedar forest of this Mesopotamian vibe all together. And then I, I loved it. I loved every, every part of that. But yeah, TLDR, be mad at Genshin for not putting in brown characters. Because that's dumb. And I hate it. And we desperately need brown characters. POC characters. POC in characters, a hundred percent. Be mad at Genshin for using names of real Arabic people and then giving no Arabic representation to their characters in the slightest. Be mad about those things. But if you're going to be mad about quote unquote cultural appropriation in regards to the designs, I would urge you to do more research into where these designs are coming from and critically think, analyze your sources and compile your research before going and making these statements because I'm really racking my brain here and I am always the first to be like, yes, let's get this company for cultural appropriation. And I'm really, really struggling with how they are portraying it, how they are using ancient ideas and ancient mythology to get these points across so please do the research again super open to having this conversation but also it is not it's a difficult one right i don't think it is fair to say that someone cannot cosplay a character that is not part of their ethnicity um 
if they are respecting the character. Um, it's you wouldn't go up to a black cosplayer and say, well, you, you can't cosplay Cinderella, right? You've got to be Tiana. Um, because, you know, Cinderella's not your cultural heritage. And I understand that it's not it's not a one-for-one -one argument because um, discrimination works one way and then <laughs> not, not the and other. Systematic, um, systemic oppression. Yeah, works. systemic oppression is kind of a big deal. Um, but I just think, I think that's a, it's a dangerous slope to go down. Um, and it's not the right one, if that makes sense. I mean, that example works the other way. You wouldn't go up to a white cosplayer and say you can't be Tiana, because yeah. that just feels dumb. Like, why would you do that? Yeah. Be Tiana. Like, I'm <laughs> sorry, you can't be Tiana because you're, you and your family aren't from New Orleans, and therefore you don't understand the importance of black Americans living in New Orleans during that time period. Because it's true, you don't, but you wouldn't say that to someone. Like... I'm, I'm trying to think of another example from getting you're not going to go up to a venti cosplayer and be like are you german though do you have german ancestry because maybe you shouldn't be cosplaying for a monster um and it just seems it seems gatekeepy um in a negative way because what what you're inadvertently stopping doing is you're stopping people enjoying um what could be a poc driven story um, and you're almost censoring the, the the Genshin story, which is, whether done well or not, taking place in a specific part of the world, which doesn't actually get as much storytelling as other areas. You know, like, you always get fantasy Europe, you always get fantasy Japan. There aren't, I mean, I can probably list on my hand anime and video games that use fantasy Near East. And I'm like, okay, Magi, Magi. okay, Babylon. Assassin's Babylon. Creed, uh, stretch, <laughs> uh, stretch, oh. <laughs> um, yeah, Fate Babylonia, um, it's not a lot, so people are already really limited in being able and to Fate Babylonia enjoy this came media. as like number seven or something. Yeah, it was exhausted all of their emotions. Hundred percent. Um, so you're you're already people are really limited in being able to enjoy and kind of appreciate uh, fantasy that uses this area of the world. And by, by censoring it, by telling people you can't cosplay from this, um, what you're actually doing is you're, you're limiting people's ability to interact and connect with it um, in a way that is important. It's important to um, understand other cultures. Um, that's part of being human. You have to kind of throw yourself in headfirst and make mistakes and then learn from those mistakes and then critically analyze what you're learning. Um, and if you take that away from people, um, no good comes of it because there's no progression. Um, so I would just urge people to think about the statements they're making and to remember that toxic positivity is as harmful as toxic negativity in a community um, of which cosplay is one. Um, but yeah, happy, happy to have some convos. <laughs> that face. <laughs> All right, we're filming. My man Tignari <laughs> is wearing a turtleneck and a hoodie. And, a hoodie. <laughs> and knee high converses. <laughs> My man is dressed like me back in 2010. <laughs> He's got them baggy sweatpants and the Reeboks with the straps. He's clearly been to an anime convention recently. This is a really nice sageo, actually. So that would be a Japanese element. That's what samurai used with their swords. I can make you one if you want. Yeah, I'll need one. He's got this nice little, I don't know, Greek or Roman sashy thing going on. Okay, who, who should we look up next? Let's look up Deo. Alright. Why is it, oh wait, there's no splash off here because she's not in the game. <laughs> right. So I too really liked Mad Max Fury Road. <laughs> so it was a really good film. Um, 
she's got them hot topic jeans on and just jeans is a it. is a really is this what my skinny it. jeans look like Mary? There's like no thigh on that yeah, one. Yeah, no. This is what my ones look like. <laughs> Strong them to shit. Um. Yeah, I don't know, like what what culture this is supposed to represent at all. <laughs> um, other than hot girl summer culture. Okay, let's look up. Um, let's do Al Hytham. Am I saying it right? Yeah, should be fine. I think the H noise has like, huh, like a huh. But there's there's fifty because there's huh, and then there's huh. Oh uh, yeah, I guess you'd have there's to look like, at noise in Arabic. Arabic. Yeah, you can do that. Um, right. The Zhongli recolor. Zhongli <laughs> recolor. He's even got the dumb like, too tight, cropped this shirt man thing needs going a on. <gasps> you notice he's got a little leaf on his head. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't. They've all got leaves on their head. I mean, he's got a little sashy, a little sash going on. Um, this looks like the one that I bought, but in red when I visited you in Bradford. Oh yeah, so it does. He might have also gone to the same Bombay to, store. He went to Bombay stores in Bradford. Um, he might have. He might have gone. Um, other than that, culturally appropriating from Bradford. Really, now. <laughs> really struggling. <laughs> really struggling. Um. I hope is her name Anchi Kusanali. It is. I have literally just made that up on top of my head and just hoped it was right. <laughs> um, Kusanali is another name they shouldn't be using. Oh, but... you're right. Yeah. Yeah, I should have mentioned that. Um, Especially for this. Like, I wouldn't care if they used it for something that was not this. Let's call her, let's call her Fred. <laughs> Fred? <laughs> um, Fred's out here looking like the Legend of Zelda OC. I, I get I'm I'm really I'm really struggling with this. It looks like she's got little shorts on at least. It looks like one of those baby doll Lolita dresses. It does look like a she's wearing that angelic pretty cup. <laughs> the one that I don't understand why anyone would ever buy. The one that does not look good on me. <laughs> doesn't yet, look good on me either. one day. Bye. <laughs> um no I'm really I mean I'm I'm being joking here, but I am like Struggling to think of cultures that it could represent. Um, let's look at Milu because we love Milu's design. Um, you mean Morgiana? Yeah, so if you guys (laughs) haven't met Morgiana yet, so again, I was talking about with those horns, beautiful, fantastic. She's got the crop top thing going on though that people don't like. She does, she do have that crop top thing going on, but you're right about aesthetics, right? They need to communicate to their audience, it's not their fault that. Most people who play this game will see a crop top and poofy pants and associate it with the Middle East. But also, like, Goro has a crop top and poofy pants. Oh, you're right, he does! Oh, you're so right. I think everyone in this game just has... Race has got poofy pants and a crop top. Yeah, it's. I think Genshin just likes to animate people's tummies, <laughs> which I relate to on a personal level. Um, but look, she's got, these, she's got her little, you know, fake Greek... Roman gladiator sandals going on, which obviously yeah. gladiators always fought barefoot, so that's bullshit anyway. Um, <laughs> but I definitely own a pair of these. Big fan. Aesthetically, they're great, but obviously they don't actually relate to much in the ancient world. Mm-hmm. Um, and like all the tassels and stuff as well. And it, the, it's the back skirt that gets me when you look at when you look at how like royalty are drawn in um, Mesopotamian art. Look at the stele of Hammurabi. All the kings have what I like to call butt skirts, which are skirts which are short at the front, go go up, um, don't go to your knee, and then along at the back. So she's you mean got one. A dipped hem. <laughs> it's actually called. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. <Louis. laughs> this is why I'm the sewer. But she's got one, right? Like, she yeah. has the butt skirt, and it's, <laughs> it's even got. I forgot what you called it. Tiptoe. Tip- okay, and she's even got the tassels on it. Tassels, like... It's all right. Call it a butt skirt. Language is about communication, and we all know what you mean when you say butt skirt. Mm-hmm. So. I, I think, like, I think the Mesopotamians were just obsessed with curtains, because they love these tassels. They put them on everything. So curtains? Is, yeah, you know those, like, the curtain tassels? You, like, do uh, the curtains up with them. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I just... I think that's brilliant. I, I love everything about this. Except um, her skin colour. Except her skin colour. 
obviously. Who else? Let's, let's just look at Sino. <laughs> let's have a Kuno. Let's you mean Mr. Kuno? Mr. Kuno, sure. Um, it's time to duel. <laughs> does look like you know big boss he's even got the white hair he's he looks like you know bakra's black for someone who lives in a desert he's bakra's big um, brother or something he's like, yeah i mean like obviously this is just taking every single egyptian trope you can and shoving it into the character but again like the ancient egyptians don't exist i just can't i can't stress this enough um <laughs> You know, the ancient Mesopotamians for Nilo's design, arguably, we know who the descendants of the Mesopotamians are. Oh, who? It's you guys. Me? Yeah. <gasps> You're the Mesopotamian, baby. Ooh! <laughs> but these guys. It's me. It's no clue. No clue at all. Who else is it? This means I'm the only person allowed to cosplay if they kill the match. <laughs> Do you want the cosplay? <laughs> Um, we could troll everyone by me doing Gil and you doing Enki tomorrow. That would be funny. Not tomorrow, Sunday. This is literally just a dress. This is just a dress with this the back cut out. This is just a dress. I mean, the poofy sleeves are quite nice. Nilu had these poofy sleeves as well. But well, that's got nothing. To, that's just. It's just Genshin. It's just Genshin. Again, she's got tassels. We love a good bit of tassels. Freaking um, Kazuha has tassels everywhere as well. She does. Oh, my God. Um, oh, Dory. I guess we should look at Dory. I mean, Dory is just a really stereotypical, Dory's, not the best design. It's not. It's not the dream. It's not. It's not the dream. It's not. <laughs> you can have this one. It's pretty challenging. <laughs> um, but again, it's not Genshin's fault that people will look at that and go, oh yeah, cute little Middle Eastern genie girl. Fan right? of the pointy shoes. The pointy shoes are very nice. The pointy shoes are really cool. But why are they healed? That's a good point, yeah. <laughs> they shouldn't be healed. Right. Take the heel off, Genshin. <laughs> Get rid of it. Right it's now. the only problem we have with anything right. from the zoo. Like, no, no, I mean, I think it's fair to criticise Dory's design. Yeah, no. But again, like, if someone wants to cosplay this, I don't think it's anyone's yeah. um, right to go up to them and be like, you're not allowed to do this. Yeah. If you're not from... Well, th this is the other... Okay, all right, this is the other thing. No, this is actually the most important thing, okay, actually, which we didn't touch on before. You're not allowed to cosplay because you're not from the culture that that originates from. What culture is that? Are you are you literally putting every single country in Southwest Asia, quote unquote, the Middle East, quote unquote, the Near East, into one bracket? Because that within itself is super problematic. <laughs> Sitting there and being like, Turkey, fucking same culture as Egypt. Syria, exactly the same culture as Saudi Arabia. Because that's what you're doing. Like, think about how many countries are in that Middle Eastern area, right? It's everything from Turkey over to, what is it, Tajikistan? Because you've got, you've got Pakistan in the middle of there, you've got Iran, Iraq. Then going down, technically, it extends all the way to Oman and Yemen. Right? So, so... What what are you classifying as having to be from that cultural background? Are you are you literally sitting there saying that all of those countries and there are a ton of countries in that geographical area have the same cultural heritage? Yeah, you're right. It's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we've had another thought. Yeah. Okay, but this whole you've idea... taken off the tummy shirt. <laughs> I'm, I'm, um, I'm getting into my my sumeru. Yes. Aesthetic. <laughs> the tummy is out. Okay. Okay. Right. So the issue that people have with sumeru is that the designs are aesthetically a fantasy Middle East slash Near East slash Southwest Asia, whichever you want to refer to the area as. 
and that therefore it's not acceptable to cosplay from it unless you can reclaim that culture. Which fucking one? <laughs> okay, because because it just <laughs> let's talk about some of the countries in Southwest Asia. Okay, you've got Jordan, which <laughs> someone fact checked me on this and it's wrong. It's whatever. I believe actually has like an extremely high Catholic community. Okay. Population, you mean? Population. I think high Catholic community isn't there, right? So, yeah, high Catholic community sounds like they're all smoking something. Yeah, it does. Yeah. They've got a very large Catholic community or a high Catholic population. And then you've got Palestine. And then you have Israel. And then also, in this exact same geographical area, you have Saudi and the United Arab Emirates. Are you telling me that Jordan, Palestine, <laughs> Israel, and the United Arab Emirates have the same culture? <laughs> you look so pissed right now. Are you... Because this isn't even a history oh thing, right? This God. isn't even like, oh, well, in the past... This place was controlled by the Assyrians, and this place was controlled by the Greeks. This is literally a look at current events. And you want to tell me that all of these places are so culturally homogenous that you can stand there and go, Sumeru has taken all of your cultural stereotypes and all of them, mix all of them mixed together, really? Really, all of and them. even if they had, yes, you're also saying that you can re reclaim. You can only cosplay if you are from one of those very different cultures. You're you like, can then cosplay this other thing, which is also only very tenuously related to those cultures to begin. It doesn't make any sense. That, which one? Pick, <laughs> pick one. Um, because none of these cultures are the same. I mean, again, and even going into the African continent, right? You want to say Egypt is part of the middle east because it's, it's um it's got it's a uh the dominant population is is arabic speaking um but so is north sudan um so are other countries along the mediterranean coast of africa how far along are you extending this cultural border do you do you count spain do you count spain in this i mean it was controlled by the moors for for what a couple of a couple of centuries a uh, tignari is from andalusia right <laughs> Um, how where where do your where is your delineation of um of who who gets the pass right and who doesn't is it is it like in Family Guy the little the little skin tone checker <laughs> is is that like you get you get how silly this sounds right like you understand culturally and pragmatically that this makes zero sense. Mm -hmm.